So you'll need a Nintendo Brass file and your custom Brass file. Open the Nintendo Brass file and check your model. Uh, and go into the materials section, export the body texture, which Ferzlina is Rosal texture, and export shader zero. You'll need those. You can leave that. Now open your custom model. Uh, and uh, we don't have colors, and there's an easy way to get those uh, without having to actually use 3D modeling. So just click export. Uh, export, find your folder, storing this into a new folder as a day. Export that, and we can re import that here. Um, make sure your settings are exactly like mine. Uh, if there's any differences, it won't work, so make sure you have those. It'll look kind of weird, but it'll look good later. Adjust a uh, scaling rule to Maya. Uh, and here, an open materials and replace that. You might want to copy and paste the name of your texture first, actually. And replace that with Rosa All Texture. Now delete that and add a new reference. Drag it to the top and rename it to, to your texture. Uh, do that for all the textures. So we'll just be replacing that. Make sure we have the name copied, and uh, place that, now delete, now add new reference. We gotta do this for all five textures in this model. Uh, make, don't delete the LM0 and LM1, that's kinda what you need, so don't delete those. Um, you'll need those later. Uh, and we'll do some more settings with these later, but... For now, we just kind of are replacing with Rosa All Texture, and uh, deleting, and then adding a new reference, renaming, and moving it up to the very tippy top. Uh, be careful about dragging it out, or you'll kind of get a glitch, you'll need to start over, so uh, I'd recommend you're kind of careful. We accidentally add a new reference there, you know, Rosa All. Okay, keep just... Keep just going through, and now that we're at the bottom, we can drag that up, right there, and uh, our model doesn't look any different, but that's fine. So that's glitched, so we want to change that to mirror. Uh, so we can check our model now, and as you can see, her dress is fixed. Uh, it's okay if she's really bright, you'll fix that later. Um, has texture make tricks true? Set that there. Um, it might not change if it does not change. If you're unable to move it to true, uh, kind of just go to the next texture. It's pretty normal. Uh, so keep just clicking true here. Um, it doesn't go there. And, uh, now replace your shader zero in here with the, uh, one from Nintendo's model. Now I have these colors, and these are new because we re-imported. If you you won't have colors here if you didn't do their first step. Um, so change the A alpha to uh, 254. Just do that on all of these. You'll need a hex editor for this. Um, so if you do not have one downloaded, you should pause the video and download one right now. Uh, any hex editor works. It, it really doesn't matter as long as it can. And uh, I like to make a folder called Colors, and I'll put these little color files in there. So, yeah, just kind of plop them in there. And to export all, all five. Uh, and note that uh, later, I'll have to be pretty accurate with this, so it's better if you have a shorter name, but of course sometimes the names are kind of long. Just make sure that you are careful with this. Um, so we'll open this, and... Uh, just give me a sec here, uh, we'll just, uh, open, uh, find our hex editor, uh, where is it, hmm, whatever, sorry, uh, I'm just finding my hex editor, <laughs> oof, uh, there we go, oh, that's the wrong hex editor, you can use any hex editor, I have a different preference, though, 
So um, I'm going to switch to my my different hex editor that I have gotten more experienced with. doesn't really matter, actually, so don't worry about it too much. Now, you see that FFE? Change that to FFF. Uh, and then we got to go to our folder again. You have a lot of color folders, but just make sure you're in your new one. Over time, you'll get more. There's a back file. Don't click that. Just open the next file. Click save. And after you've changed the FFF, um, FFFE, FFF. Oh, I had an extra. Just control Z. Undo that. Save. Open up the next file and change that to an FFF. Um, and this is going to fix the uh, vertex colors on our model so that the uh, shaders work properly. So, yeah. Uh, we have a couple backup files, so now that we're done, just make sure that you ha have one backup file for each of your normal files. So I have five files and five backup files. So delete, 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 delete. And uh, there we go. Uh, now that we've done that, we will uh, just replace with the... Um, appropriate uh, one. So that one seems to be called Model Polygon 1 Rose I. So just kind of be careful. It will crash if you don't use the right color here. So make sure the file name is the exact right one. Uh, if you make a mistake, don't worry. I would actually recommend if you're feeling unconfident, like if you're feeling kind of unsure, like, I was kind of, I'm feeling unsure here, actually, because I think I might have missed one up, so, uh, yeah, but anyway, we'll just keep replacing, and, uh, if you have any uncertainties, don't worry, you can actually redo this at any time, but, yeah, like, I'm kind of, I think I might have made a mistake there, so, um, we're gonna actually redo this, uh, just make sure I get our name absolutely right because you know any small mistake here and actually you can drag that little thing and that gives you a little more of the words so you can really um really see you might want to drag that little file replace there so you can see just you know get it absolutely right and a single mistake will crash it so I just want to make sure uh, and we'll go up here now if I'll save, actually click save twice, and if it says no changes have been made, you're good. Um, X out of there. Uh, and open it back up just to see if everything's working. Uh, we got her, and she's all, like, shiny and shady. And that's, that's what we want. That's kind of what all Mario Kart Wii characters look like in-game. So we want to have that kind of glistening shine effect to really make our character look almost official, even. Uh, if we have extra textures, like, you can use more eye textures, but I'm not covering that here, so uh, just delete those for file space if you aren't using them. Uh, don't worry about that, just kind of check that just in case you're unsure. Uh, now you will uh, check your materials, just, uh, like, our face had a bug, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, so we might fix that, we'll fix that later. Um, next we will, uh, change the size of these, uh, textures here. Uh, CM pair kind of removes our transparency there. I'm not sure if that might be supposed to, I think that's supposed to be transparent, so. We'll just X back out, re-encode, and, uh, change this file size to, uh, as small as you can without losing much quality, so. And the more a texture is used, like, this peach texture isn't used much, despite, um, like, still kind of being the hair. It's not used enough. Uh, this is used for the hair, so we'll keep that where it is. Um, this is a huge texture. We'll make that back into 128. I like using 128 and 256 most of the time. Uh, 512 is kind of big, but that's fine. And we lost a little quality there, but that's actually fine, because uh, at least now it will not, like, break online. Uh, we can see that her animation looks good, but her face was kind of messed up, so we'll just go and uh, find uh, that texture right there. Uh, where was that? Oh yeah, so go in here and then um, click uh, find mirror, 
generally that fixes some problems with your UVs, so if uh, she looks good now, uh, that means our shaders should work. Um, just hit save, exit.